I explained to, to Sylvia, it, it, you give me a dollar amount because it's kind of hard to to say how much it's going to cost. I can't say, okay. you know. Well, uh, the reason I ask that is because if we, if we look at Eileen, mm -hmm. uh, 35 to 40, we look at the crossover issue at 25, that takes us down to 235. We could look at air lane, that takes us down to, that's 115. That takes, if I'm going my math right, right. that takes us down to 120. Right. I would, if, so, to be quite frank with you, I'd rather see you do Westwood. Wasn't that identified as an engineering as the worst? Westwood is, is really the area yeah, that's bad. Top. Well, here's what. How much is Westwood? Westwood? Westwood is 140. I know you would have to have one. Well, well, let me ask you this question. Just that one area. We can't do full depth repairs in all these other areas if we're going to right. do that. Right. And I think that if you're looking what is affecting the majority of residents in the city, it's these areas that need full depth repairs. Full depth repairs, if you want to do them. I just did. I looked at three streets. I looked at uh, the Tanglewood area. Yes, it's a mess. I looked at Shepherd Hills and just the area at Sioux between Crow and uh, North Texas. And we had 31 spots. Okay. So to go through this whole list, I, you just have, you have, what you have to do is give me a dollar amount, and then we will contract. Me and Nick talk. We will get contractors, same thing, prices okay. you can look at. Or we could do a few at a time and we'll have the prices to, to repair these. But, but if, we, if we do get Westwood, we don't have any money. Oh, for if you do oil. Westwood, no, you won't have it. Well, I, you know. let's look at it this way then. Give us, if we gave you a number, let's say, at $100,000, mm -hmm. and you, we said, you take care of the most critical areas where we have holes, we have collapses, we have other problems. The way yeah, that, that I was be, looking at it yeah. is that. For all the full depth repairs on your fair yeah. to good roads, you fix those while those roads are still in good condition. And then when you get to the point where you have to just resurface them, all your full depth is already done and paid for. Now all you have to pay for is just to have it resurfaced. Those are the roads that I think we can concentrate on as far as full depth repairs. If we're not going to do, uh, if we're going to do air lane, air lane is the worst. Yes. Okay. That beyond shadow of doubt should be done. Uh, Westwood, now, I, I, I wish we had the money to do that too, well, but it's up to council. Well, let's, put it, let's put it this way. Uh, I've talked to people over there and their main concern are the two areas where there is a kind the of- big way, The big yes. humps. The big humps, right. And if we were, will we be able to grind those down as a temporary measure? and smooth out the road enough so it isn't like a, that for those two areas. We could, okay. but I would like to talk to Nick about that. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we don't know how effective it would be, you know, for grinding out that part of the road. Who knows well, how much more will weaken it. So, well, uh, you need to we'll talk to Nick about it and see if that's a temporary solution. Mm -hmm. That's an expensive road to repair. Sure. And that's a full, full depth repair. I know it's a full yeah. depth repair. I understand this. And so what we want to do then is to protect more of the city and, our, and more of the road. Protect more of the road. Yes. Sure. Can I throw in that if we go, if we go, if you go to bid that if everyone's considering airline and then as an alternate bid part of the package is that you include Westwood as the alternate. So they have to bid on both because they're going by mm -hmm. uh, the tonnage and the scope and everything else. And then we have, and then by that time, if the construction date is set into August or September, we're going to have three more months of review of Rita. At that point, you might be able to free up a little more money. At that point, okay. Well, say, I'm willing to do that bid, certainly. The bid, when they're bidding on both projects, that's just an alternate, knowing that they might. I'm get only that concerned that we idea. get started in getting more of these streets in a condition. Yeah that are not <coughs> deteriorated to the point that right. we're going to destroy them. Well, well I think I that's why if you did your air lane and then you took that other 115,000 or 120,000 yeah. and put it towards all those other repairs right. all out throughout the city, then you, we're getting the most for that. And then right. if, the, if, the and if there's if additional the money. revenue comes in, by the time this bid happens and opens mm -hmm. up and specs it out, okay, you're that's gonna fine. By we could have, we could, we could uh, most of your fair and streets. And at that point, they're already here. We could really do get some at least the basic main expense 
Yeah. Okay, well that's important. It's important enough to that with this budget, if we if we were to handle all these problems, including Westwood and Airlene, we're over twenty thousand dollars from the two point five. And we can solve our most major problems. Oh. Twenty thousand well, bucks. And then we won't be able to do Eileen as Yeah, we won't oh, be that's able to. No, no. It's over know, twenty grand. What what what, uh, what we're saying, Nick, and let me just repeat it, is Westwood is a problem, there's no question. I think Airlines even a bigger problem, but Westwood's a problem. And what we're saying is there's other roads and many other roads affecting many more residents right. that have major problems. We want to spend where it makes sense. <clears throat> what Scott is saying is very simple. We might be able to look at this revenue again in another month and another month that would show whether we're we're on the projection to have maybe a hundred thousand more, and then we can make a decision. But it's, it's also important to note here, though, that this is from engineering, and I, right. I, I appreciate and it's probably higher cost. I appreciate the fact that you know there are we can affect more people, but by them putting number one and number two, and we're ignoring number one, which is Westwood, and Nick and I have talked about it, and we're saying about grinding down, it's not going to work. Well, I mean, you have a complete base failure on that entire road; it's only going to get worse. Well, and I then you're going to hold on. Okay. That you're going to have crossover failures. The problem will compound if you don't deal with it. Is what I'm getting. Uh, it, I'm it's sure. not. It's not a matter of me giving my opinion. This is a matter of Nick and I having a conversation. Number one, we can't ignore. And well, South Bedford came in a lot less than last year from the engineering quote. So yes. if this thing comes in at 90, and then you have 25,000 to play with, you're already there. Right? And so one of the things 000. you have to look at mm -hmm. is once you have somebody in town with their company right. doing roads, it's to go and you give them a project. little more to mm -hmm. bid on, next thing you know, well, as long as we're here. Right. Yeah, I agree with that, Don. All I'm saying is Scott's suggestion is the one. It's good. That, that's a good one. And I think that we can move ahead on two areas, and with the potential, we can move ahead on Westwood as the third area. That's all I'm saying. The, the Westwood problem is pretty much, to the residents, an aggravation problem having to do with the way this road is. I understand there's other problems and with it. engineer listed it. Well, they listed it as number one, and but engineer. when you looked at their plan, their alternative plan, it actually listed Airline as number one. Well, so, I don't think there's any disagreement. Westwood and Airline number one and number two. No, well, I'm it. And I, I, I've got a talk about the fact you're going down to all these other roads. There's a whole group from number three down to number nine that we just keep skipping over every year. And you know what? They're getting down to gravel. We can also just let them become, just rip it up and let them become part of the streets. North Bedford. Oh, fuck them. Bruce Park. I'm sorry, Rail, North Northwest. Freeway. They're down to gravel. Yeah, yeah. North Freeway. Yeah. Isn't this what kind of we, we're getting at where we know we cannot find to repair all of these roads? Right. In, in right. the greatest of times, we know that that's not something that's feasible. So, I mean, I think the conversation needs to turn to how do we fund this? I mean, the mayor has put up a well, whole line. Uh, for us to consider, but we need to talk about how we're going to generate the funds to, to deal with these problems. No matter what we do, let we're, we're picking it. Oh, please, let me finish. We're picking and choosing how we're going to handle it, but we don't have enough money to do it. And if we continue on just picking and choosing, we're going to have this problem forever. So we have to make the hard decision and, and come up with what we all know we don't want to do, but we have to. And you know, the 100% reciprocity is attractive okay let's let's talk about the issue here first I was working from their five-year plan they said air lane as the number one priority that's what they said in their plan from engineering bill so I'm not working from a different plan what I'm saying is this uh, I agree we need to look at the funding issues there's annual issues having to do with full depth repairs that I think is going to be taken care of by natural growth. We have other roads, and you're correct, there's a list of them that is long, that we have not dealt with every year for a very long time. And what to do about them has to do with how do we deal with the longer term issues. There's going to be growth in, so far, there has been growth since 2012 in our revenue streams that are natural that's 
above and beyond what we got in the extra quarter percent that we put on. That we do know, because the numbers are there. That's going to continue as long as the economy is continuing in the direction it is. We're going to add money into the process. I believe we'll have enough money to deal with full debt repairs and some